What is the true meaning of Christmas? Have you ever pondered this question? As the year winds down and the world sparkles with the twinkling lights of the holiday season, it's easy to get swept up in the hustle and bustle of Christmas. The festive decorations, the delicious food, the gift exchanges, these are all elements that make Christmas a much anticipated time of the year. But amidst all these festivities, the true essence of Christmas often gets overshadowed. In the whirlwind of holiday shopping and the commercialization of Christmas, it's easy to forget that at its core, Christmas is a celebration of something much deeper and more profound. It's not about the shopping or the presents or even the jolly man in the red suit. No, the true meaning of Christmas lies in the celebration of a birth, not just any birth, but the birth of Jesus Christ. Christmas, derived from the words Christ's Mass, is a time to reflect on and celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. It's a time to remember the humble beginnings of a man who would become a beacon of hope and love for many. It's a time to reflect on the message of peace, love, and goodwill towards all that he brought into the world. Yet, in the flurry of holiday activities, this crucial aspect of Christmas is often overlooked. The commercial aspects of the holiday season, while enjoyable, can sometimes cloud our vision, making us lose sight of the true essence of Christmas. It's not about how much we spend or how many gifts we give or receive. It's about love, peace, and the celebration of Jesus Christ's birth. So as we prepare to dive into the holiday season, let's take a moment to reflect on the true meaning of Christmas. Let's take the time to remember the birth of Jesus Christ and the message of love and peace he brought into the world. Let's remember to express love and kindness to those around us, to spread joy and cheer wherever we go. So let's dive deeper into the story of Christmas and uncover its true significance. The story of Christmas is a tale as old as time, yet it remains ever significant. Let's journey back over two millennia ago to a humble town called Bethlehem. It was here that the world was graced with a gift, a gift of love and redemption. A young woman named Mary, betrothed to a carpenter named Joseph, was chosen by God to bear his son, Jesus Christ. An angel declared to Mary that she would conceive a child by the Holy Spirit, a child who would save the people from their sins. Now Mary and Joseph had to travel to Bethlehem, the city of their ancestors, to be counted in a census declared by Caesar Augustus. Despite being heavy with child, Mary made the arduous journey. Upon reaching Bethlehem, they found the town bustling and there was no room for them in the inns. Thus, Mary and Joseph sought shelter in a stable, and it was here amidst the straw and the animals that Jesus was born. The birth of Jesus was not an ordinary event. It was heralded by signs in the heavens. A star shone brightly in the night sky, a beacon guiding visitors to the newborn king. These visitors were the three wise men, also known as the Magi. These scholars from the east had seen the star and understood its significance. They journeyed far, following the star, bearing gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Gold, a symbol of kingship and wealth, signified Jesus' royal status. Frankincense, used in worship, symbolized Jesus' divine nature and role as a priest. Myrrh, an embalming oil, foretold Jesus' suffering and death, a poignant reminder of the purpose of his birth. The birth of Jesus, humble and lowly yet marked by heavenly signs, is a story that transcends time. It is a story of hope, love, sacrifice, and redemption. It is a story that reminds us of the immense love God has for us, that he gave his only son to save us. As we celebrate Christmas today, we remember this story. We remember the humble birth of Jesus in a stable. We remember the star that guided the wise men. We remember the gifts they brought, each with its own significance. But most importantly, we remember the gift that God gave us, the gift of his son, Jesus Christ. This Christmas, as we exchange gifts, sing carols, and enjoy the company of our loved ones, let's keep the story of Christmas in our hearts. Let's remember the humble birth of a Savior, the star that guided the wise men and the gifts they brought. Let's use this season to share the love of Christ, just as the wise men shared their gifts with Jesus. This profound story lies at the heart of our Christmas celebrations, reminding us of the birth of a Savior. Jesus Christ, the central figure of Christmas, holds immense significance in this season. As the air fills with the scent of pine and the sound of jingle bells, we're reminded of the birth of a man who would change the course of history. 
The man, Jesus Christ, is the very reason we celebrate Christmas. His teachings of love, peace, and generosity are deeply woven into the fabric of this holiday season. It's not about Santa Claus, but Santa has become the focus, and Jesus has been pushed to the back seat. Santa is a distraction for kids, so they don't know the truth about the real reason for the season. Christmas is not just about the lights, the gifts, or the carols. It's about the love that Jesus taught us to have for one another. He taught us to love our neighbors as ourselves, and what better time to practice this than during the Christmas season. As we exchange gifts, let's remember that the greatest gift of all is love. Let's remember to share this love with everyone around us, just as Jesus did. In addition to love, Jesus taught us about peace. He is often referred to as the Prince of Peace and his teachings have inspired countless individuals to seek and promote peace in their lives and in the world. As we gather with our families and friends during Christmas, let's remember to foster peace in our relationships, in our communities, and in our world. Let's remember that the Christmas lights are not just decorative. They symbolize the light that Jesus brought into the world, a light of peace and hope. Generosity, another key teaching of Jesus, is also a fundamental part of Christmas. The act of giving gifts is a direct reflection of this teaching. Jesus taught us to be generous not only in our material possessions, but also in our time, efforts, and kindness. As we wrap our presents and prepare our holiday meals, let's remember to be generous in our actions and in our hearts. Let's remember that every act of generosity, no matter how small, can make a big difference in someone's life. Christmas is also a time of reflection. It's a time to remember the teachings of Jesus and to put them into practice. It's a time to reflect on the past year and to make plans for the upcoming one. As we celebrate Christmas, let's remember to embrace the spirit of love, peace, and generosity that Jesus embodied. Let's remember to be kind to one another, to forgive, and to spread joy wherever we go. In a world that often seems filled with darkness, let's remember that the message of Jesus is one of light, hope, and love. Let's remember that Christmas is not just a holiday, it's a celebration of the life and teachings of Jesus Christ. It's a reminder of the profound impact that one man's teachings can have on the world. As we celebrate Christmas, let's remember to embody the teachings of Jesus, spreading love and joy to all. What does it truly mean to capture the spirit of Christmas? Well, let's dive into it. The true spirit of Christmas is one of love, joy, peace, and generosity. It's a time when we set aside our daily routines and stresses to embrace these virtues wholeheartedly. The spirit of love is deeply woven into the fabric of Christmas. It's love that prompts us to spend time with family and friends, to express our affection through gifts, and to reach out to those who may be struggling, showing them they are not alone. Love is the foundation of Christmas, and it's love that was at the heart of the very first Christmas with the birth of Jesus. Then there's joy. The joy of Christmas is infectious, spreading from person to person like a well-loved Christmas carol. It's in the excitement of children unwrapping presents, the warmth of a family gathering, the laughter shared with friends. It's a joy that transcends the material aspects of the holiday and touches something deeper within us. Peace, too, is a cornerstone of the Christmas spirit. It's a peace that encourages us to put aside our differences, to forgive, to seek reconciliation. It's a peace that inspires us to look for common ground, to build bridges, to create a world where love and respect flourish. And let's not forget generosity. Christmas is a season of giving, not just of presents, but also of ourselves. It's about sharing our time, our resources, and our compassion with others. It's about reaching out to those less fortunate, extending a helping hand, and making a difference in someone's life. So, what does it mean to capture the spirit of Christmas? It means to live these virtues in our daily lives, to carry the love, joy, peace, and generosity of Christmas with us all year round. It's about spreading that joy and love, not just during the holiday season, but every day. As we wrap up our presents, let us also wrap up our hearts in the spirit of love and joy that Christmas brings. As we come to the end of our exploration, let's revisit the essence of Christmas. In our journey together, we've discovered that the true meaning of Christmas is far more profound than the glitz and glamour of festive decorations and gift exchanges. It's about celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, a figure of love, peace, and compassion, whose teachings continue to guide us even today. We delved into the story of Christmas, a narrative that transcends time and space, a story of humility, sacrifice, and divine love. 
The birth of Jesus in a humble manger teaches us that greatness can emerge from even the most modest beginnings. His life and teachings are a testament to the power of love, kindness, and forgiveness. We also explored the significance of Jesus in Christmas. His birth represents hope, redemption, and the promise of eternal life. Jesus is the embodiment of love and compassion, and his teachings form the bedrock of our Christmas celebrations. His message of peace, unity, and goodwill is what we celebrate each year. We then ventured into understanding the true spirit of Christmas. It's a time to show love to our fellow humans, to give generously, to spread joy and peace. It's a time to reflect on the teachings of Jesus and strive to incorporate them into our daily lives. The spirit of Christmas is not confined to a single day. It's a way of life that we should embrace throughout the year. As we conclude, let's remember that Christmas is more than just a holiday. It's a celebration of love, joy, peace, and generosity, all of which are teachings of Jesus. Let's honor these teachings in our celebrations. Let's be more tolerant, more forgiving, more loving. Let's share what we have with those less fortunate. Let's spread joy and happiness, not just to our loved ones, but to everyone around us. This Christmas, let's remember the true reason for the season and celebrate with love, joy, peace, and generosity in our hearts.